Hey, what's up everyone? Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and it's finally available on Android 5.0 Lollipop. You can now install Exposed on your phone running Lollipop. Now it is an alpha state, so keep that in mind. You might run into some bugs. You'll see I have an Nexus 5 right here. I'll show you some things on it in just a little bit. But anyways, for those of you that don't know what Exposed is, it's actually one great thing I love about Android is something that you can make a lot of various tweaks to your phone. So many different ones. I'll talk about some of them in just a second. Um, and with these tweaks, you do need to be rooted. So kind of keep that in mind. If you're not rooted, you might not be able to, you're not going to be able to do some of these. You will have to be rooted. But, uh, and some of them aren't going to work on Lollipop. Not all of them, not all of them have been updated to work on Lollipop yet. I will post all information, all your questions that you need answered in the description of the video. I'm going to make an article, post links, post so much information, instructions, download links, everything is going to be available, compatible module, spreadsheet, everything is going to be in the description of the video linked. So be sure to check that out before you go ahead and do anything go ahead before you install it on Lollipop. But now, once you've done that, or if you want to just see what Exposed is, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so as you can see, my Nexus 5 right here, I do have the exposed framework already installed and the app as well. On Lollipop, you need to flash the framework within a custom recovery. So you'll see, you go to framework, and you'll see at the top, installation's only possible manually via recovery for now. Uh, if you're on KitKat or below, it might be different, but on Lollipop, you need to flash it within a custom recovery. But anyways, so you have a couple options within the app, modules and downloads. So downloads where you can download all your modules, and keep in mind, not all of them are gonna work on Lollipop. Check the spreadsheet before you install them, otherwise you might run into some boot loops and other various issues. You also see modules right here, which shows which modules are actually already installed, the modifications that you have installed. And then download, which is where you can actually get specific ones. So anyways, if you want to install it, like I said, find the one you want. Uh, one that I always recommend, and especially on Lollipop, that's really needed is called the Restore Notification Ticker on Lollipop. You just find it, select it, you'll see a description, links, um, and then swipe over and you'll see versions and you just go ahead and press install. It'll install and then you need to reboot the device for it to take effect. So kind of keep that in mind. Some of them actually you need to install and then go back to modules and then you need to um, change the uh, option so you can select it. You'll see this lollipop power menu has a bunch of options that you can change. Um, and you have to tick those before you reboot the device for it to work properly. So you'll see now, that's one I can show off, Lollipop Power Menu. I press and hold the Power Menu. Look at how many options I have, not just Power Off, Airplane Mode, I can change the volume, settings, or lock now. So uh, that's just one for example. But let's get back to the Enable Notification Ticker on Lollipop. So once you've installed that, you check it, you check, make sure the module's checked, reboot your device. Once you get back, it should be working just fine if it's a compatible module. Now to give you an idea of what this uh, enable notification ticker did, uh, for example in Hangouts, when you get a message, the notification uh, heads up will drop down, show you the message, you can tap it, swipe it away, etc. Some people don't like that, especially because developers get to control that, you don't get to control it yourself. So let's say for example, I get a Hangouts message, I just sent myself an example one. You'll see up at the top, it doesn't bring that heads up, it actually shows the message and goes away. It brings up that notification ticker that used to be on previous versions of Android. So there you have it, that's just another example. Another cool one is called Force Immersion. Um, it's an, a specific app that gets installed, you'll see. Um, you can go into it and you can select specific apps. So if I want to check Chrome, um, I'm gonna back out of it. Now when I go into Chrome actually, it's gonna go into immersive mode. So you'll see it uh, takes away the status bar, it takes away your navigation buttons as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done, and you'll see, there we go, I got full screen Chrome. You can go ahead and browse through, you just swipe up or down, and it brings up the status bar and the navigation button as well. And you can customize them per app. And there's so many other ones that are available. Like I said, check out the, uh, the spreadsheet in the description. So that's all you need to do. You need to go to download, find the one you want to download, select it, make sure it's compatible, otherwise you might have issues. Uh, download, install, once you install it, go into modules, check it, reboot your device, and you should be good to go. So there you have it. Um, and, like, and also, it's important to note that uh, some devices may not be compatible, so you might want to check that as well. Uh, obviously, like I said, everything will be in the description. So there you have it. That would be exposed on Lollipop, finally available. Just kind of wanted to let you guys know, show you guys, I guess, how to uh, use it and how it works. And hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.